Hello again, Bible lovers. I've got a little hand-sized ESV to show you guys today. This is a Crossway PSR, personal size reference Bible. So if you're shopping and you see PSR, that's what this is. Just in case it's... Because sometimes you, you get a lot of the... LPUT, SCR, you know, you'll see a lot of those uh, kind of initials. Well, the PSR is this, the Personal Size Reference Bible. So, anyway, you can see it comes in. Now, granted, I've already made some improvements on this before, prior to doing the <laughs> review. So, no, these ribbons are not stocked, but I'll, I'll kind of get into that in just a minute. It comes in a nice clamshell box. Um, this is a 2011 printing and you can tell the box is a little beat up. It's been on the shelf for five years, probably under a heap of, heap of books. And I got it on sale from Christian book for about six bucks, six or $7. And, uh, there you can see the ISBN number and the retail price of $30 and some of the description, personal size reference Bible and true tone graphite color with the stitch design and um this is actually a uh, black letter edition also you can see that on the side of the box also so anyway we'll move that out of the way and take a look at the bible itself so you can see it has a nice true tone black true tone cover and on the spine it has esv twice which is rare with Crossway and Holy Bible on top and bottom. And uh, when you open it up, it's just a paste down liner stitch perimeter, which is nice. Um, helps with the uh, keeping this thing together. I've had I've had mixed results with the True Tone. I've had some that are that just wear out, and some that hold together really well. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this edition. Whether I'm going to just replace the liner to try to increase the flexibility of it. Or if I'm just going to cut it out and uh, put it in a whole new leather binding. But anyway. So you can see the uh, True Tone's nice. It's got a paste down with some nice end sheets. And and it's got several sheets of uh, cardstock in the front. And you come to a presentation page and the two title pages. And we can get to the... Uh, sorry, I skipped it. We can get to the... Uh, printing information it is the uh, personal size reference Bible 2007 text edition so uh, this is a 2011 printing prior to the 2011 revision so uh, just so you guys are aware uh, if you have a uh, bias towards the 2011 versus 2007 just be sure you know what you're buying it's printed in China and this is a China printing that, you know, it's they're still working on it. Some of the newer China printings are much better, but this China printing is not one of those. So uh, when we get, you know, it has an explanation of the features and, uh, you know, you have your uh, glossary or your uh, kind of list of the books and page numbers. And at the beginning of the, uh, the uh, books, you have book introductions for each book and it's a single column layout with references in the gutter i'm not a huge fan of that but because you know i usually leave my ribbons in when i'm reading i don't really i don't like to flip them out a lot so if i'm reading for the purpose of the references uh, they kind of get the ribbons kind of get in the way of the the references especially if they're in the suite in the uh gutter that's one reason why a lot of people like the SCR as a side column reference, which has the reference suites on the on the side margin. So, anyway, but these are in the gutter. It's not line matched, um, so it's kind of distracting a little bit. The paper's not terrible, but you can see like right here in Genesis 10, it's just lots of ghosting. So, uh, but I mean, it's what you're going to get with. A China printing, a six dollar Bible, you know, it's you're not it's not gonna be perfect. So 
anyway, as long as you, you're watching these reviews and we're doing these reviews, a lot of the guys that do these reviews also, we want you to be aware of what you're buying before you buy it. That way you're not surprised and you're happy with your purchase. Also, so that you can kind of uh, be better prepared for how you're going to study. What? How do you study if it affects you? Like for me personally, I would not study out of one of these. Like I said, I usually leave my ribbons in. So if I'm leaving my ribbon in, it's not helping me any. You know, it's just not the way I do it. Now a lot of guys they'll th they'll toss the ribbon out while they're studying. It's not a big deal. But for me, if I'm holding the Bible and and I'm just reading it and I leave my ribbon in, then the references are, are, you know, they're it's not it's not conducive to uh, distraction free reading. So anyway, now the the single column layout is is helpful since it's not line matched and since the paper's not super great. Uh, being that it is single column helps a lot. So uh, that is one benefit. Now you can kind of tell from from here that I added an art guild which is the color under the under the gold it is a midnight blue um, art guild which is similar to the cobalt um, blue it's just a little darker and uh, then you can see these uh, these ribbons I added as well I think they complemented the dark blue now standard this Bible comes with a single one single uh, five millimeter ribbon and I put in two 10 millimeter uh, ribbons so it's uh it's definitely an improvement but it doesn't come with these ribbons just want you to be aware it comes with uh, one black ribbon and it and it's a white under gold stock so but like I said I added the uh, the blue uh, art guild and the ribbons just to kind of customize it for myself but you can see the layout it's it's a uh, it's okay um, I do like the single column, like I said, and it's a black letter. So we'll get to uh, the Gospels. Um, that would be way more distracting if it were red letter. Um, but being that it's black letter, it helps also. So they've done about what they could do with the quality of paper and printing they were dealing with to make it as readable as possible. Uh, also, you have your scriptural references uh, when the New Testament references the Old Testament, and you also have your your reference system <clears throat> here as well. Um, but this reference suite in the personal size is probably about three thousand less entries, uh, maybe uh, maybe four thousand less entries, uh, less references than like the Omega Reference Bible, which has got. Um, uh, close to 10,000. This has got uh, like 5,500, I think. I'll have to double check when I get back here to the, to the concordance. Also, the concordance is only, I think it's only 1,700 word entries in the concordance where like the Omega would have 2,400. Uh, so your reference and your concordance is, uh, <clears throat> is a, of the smaller variety. But like I said, it's a personal size uh, reference Bible. So uh, to minimize on the, uh, the amount of space taken, you have to, uh, have to sacrifice some of the references. You have your weights and measures, and you can see in the concordance, yeah, 5,900 scriptural references. So you're close to 6,000 references versus the 10,000 in the Omega Reference Bible or the large print thin line reference Bible and 1700 word entries in the concordance so it, it i mean that's a lot of word entries uh but compared to other concordances it's about half the size to three quarter the size so and in this edition you don't have any maps there are no maps in the in the psr so um and you can see the back you have the true tone stamp with the uh bs isbn uh stamped in as well so and that's really it. I want to uh, kind of give a plug for these uh, upgrades I did. I wouldn't intend on doing that, but I guess I might as well. Uh, doing Adding the ribbons and the art gilding is something I can do. As most of you know, I do rebinds as well. But just get in touch with me. Go to my About section of the, 
of the uh, channel and you can uh, get in touch with me via one of those methods and uh, <clears throat> find out about pricing for art gilding and for ribbon changing. So if you wanted something like this, like this done, but you don't really want to rebind the whole thing, uh, I can do that. So also we're about 10 days from the drawing for May's giveaway Bible, which is the uh, Cokesbury New Testament in the black kid skin. If you haven't seen it, check it out. The way to be eligible is to be a subscriber to the channel and to uh, leave a comment. So really looking for people to get engaged in the channel. That's one method for doing so. So anyway, again, you can see how nice that, uh, that art gilding looks and uh, <clears throat> how the ribbons complement. I really like how it turned out. So anyway, that is Crossway's personal size reference Bible in true tone uh, graphite cover. So thank you guys again. God bless and y'all have an awesome day.